Cody International Badminton Championships 2022 here at the BBD Badminton Academy in Lucknow, India. We've had a couple of matches already. Thanks very much to my colleague, Moshimi Dutt. We're now moving on to the women's singles. PV Sindhu, the undoubted star here in India, uh, is up next. She's playing Evgenia Kosetskaya of Russia, the fifth seed. We've already seen Anupama lose to Malvika Bansod. She's into the final, so it could be an all-India affair if PV Sindhu sticks to the script today. And I say that because she, of course, was disappointingly eliminated by Supanida in the last tournament of the India Open just last weekend. Uh, and then she avenged that defeat by wi winning against her uh, in the quarterfinals. So, always a lot of expectation for PV Sindhu, but the reality is she hasn't won on the BWF World Tour since 2019. For someone of her stature and ability, that would be a very disappointing state of affairs for her. She is under a new coach, Coach Park, who has made no bones about saying she needs to win. It doesn't matter what kind of tournaments they are. Just get into the winning habit again. We have to be fair and say that, of course, she got an Olympic medal. She got a World Championship medal as well last year. But she didn't win those tournaments. And with her high standards, of course, she will be wanting more. So we're waiting the players to come through into this arena. Here at the uh, BBD Badminton Academy. Different sort of place and uh, conditions to what we were facing in Delhi. A bit of a crowd allowed in here as well, which is uh, nice, as, uh, I suppose you can say, from a spectator's point of view. Bit of support there for the uh, Indian players in particular, and I'm sure there'll be an almighty cheer when PV Sindhu enters the arena, which should be any minute now. She's, of course, a firm fan favorite, PV Sindhu, and, of course, a former Olympic champion. So really, it is a treat for the fans to get to see her up close and personal. When I say fans, of course, I mean people working on the tournament and staff. They have been cheering on Mitten Manjanath, who was just playing in the men's singles, as you just saw. He, he lost out. to Arno Merkley. So I'm sure they'll be giving all they can. I've just seen PV Sindhu now get ready to come on. Here we go. Now you can hear the crowds just uh, there's PV Sindhu of course the world number seven. Huge star here in India. Of course, World Championship, she got a silver in 2019. Silver 2016 Olympics. Asian and Commonwealth Games as well. Evgenia Kosetskaya, her opponent. They played each other twice before. Most recently, the Malaysia Masters 2020. And PV Sindhu has won both of those matches, the last one being 21-15. 21 13. She will come into this as the overwhelming favorite, of course. Just getting the formalities out of the way. Gossetskaya was surprisingly defeated in the first round of the India Open against Ashmita Chaliha, who then went all the way to the quarterfinals and gave Sindhu a big scare 
while she lost the first game quite convincingly, Chaliha really pushed her in the second. She just seemed to get a little rattled, which uh, does happen sometimes with Sindhu. As we now look at the two players in greater detail. PV Sindhu, 26 years of age, tall at 179, ranked seventh currently in the world. She was as high as second, but you have to go back to April 2017 for that one. Born in Hyderabad. And this is her path to the semi-finals. So fairly straightforward against Tanya Hamant and uh, Laura Lam of India and the United States, respectively. And then, as I mentioned, got to avenge that loss against Supanita of Thailand, but uh, lost the first game, went on to win the next two to exercise some ghosts there. Evgenia Kosetskaya, 27 years of age, also fairly tall at 176. She's currently 28th, the best she had in rankings was 20th, and that was in June of 2018. But she is certainly a very accomplished player. She's had straight games wins against Chaudhry, Hoyo, and Spabikova in those three rounds prior. Do women's double, double silver medalist at the European Games in Baku, Azerbaijan 2015. Also won the women's singles bronze in the 2019 event. The European Championships, she lost out to Carolina Marin, of course, superb world champion herself in 2018. Hermin Armin Mer of Iran is the umpire. On the BWF World Tour, her most recent win in the Dutch Open, Evgeny. Evgenia Kosetskaya, Fabio Beto, the service judge. She won the uh, Super 100. Uh, she, sorry, she finished runner-up, I should say. On the BWF Grand Prix circuit, she's won the Russian Open in 2017, runner-up in 2016. And she's won a number of titles on the International Challenge Series from 2014 up to 2019. 14 titles of which six were in singles. As for PV Sindhu, well, she's won lots of things, hasn't she? As I mentioned, silver in Rio in the Olympics, bronze in Tokyo, World Championships, she won that in 2019. She's finished twice second in 2017 and 2018, two bronzes in 2013 and 2014, Uber Cup, two bronzes in 2014 and 2016, Asian Games, a silver medal in 2018, a bronze in 2014, Commonwealth Games, gold medal in 2018, 18, a silver in 2018 in the mixed team event as women's singles, Asian Championships bronze medal. Here we go, though. Well, out there from Kosetskaya. As I mentioned, in terms of titles. Not that many to speak of. Almost seems to save her best for the big events. She's only ever won the BWF World Tour Finals under the new system that started in 2018. That was a beating Nozomi Okuhara. It's a good start here, though, for Sindhu. She has won the India Open and the Korea Open and the China Open, but that was one that was under the BWF Super Series in a different type of... different labeling of the tournaments and a few Grand Prix events as well prior to that between 2013 and 2017. But this is a rocking start for her. Really, really good. And that is in. Well, she's <laughs> seemed a bit of a flippant challenge there from Korsetskaya. I think she knows that was already definitely in. Well, actually, well, let's see again. It'll be interesting. 
She may have something there. Let's have a look. Oh, she's absolutely right. That's a very good challenge. Nicely done there by Evgenia Kosetskaya. That might just give her the platform here. And she seems to be playing a very determined PV Sindhu. Who at the moment is looking potent and energized. That's the first wayward shot, really, from PV Sindhu since this match has started. Lovely slice there on the forehand. Beautifully played. Completely took the pace off the shuttle. Kosetskaya didn't read that at all. That looked out. Slumping the shoulders already, Kosetskaya. She doesn't look happy, does she? At all. Body language, I'm afraid, is very negative at the moment. It's not been a good start for her. Waiting for the mistakes to happen, Kostitskaya is making them. She's kind of reminding me of how she played against Ashmita Chaliha. She just really struggled in that one as well, Evgenia Kostitskaya. But that is a better shot a lovely drop from her the russian and that would give ashmita one of the biggest wins for her on the international circuit ashmita led that first game for a considerable amount of time before losing away but kept her cool to thwart three game points to surge ahead she eventually won that 24 22 that's a bit of misjudgment there from pv sindhu There were a couple of good points there for Kosetskaya, who's frustrating. What you just didn't see on the close-up there was her reaction to losing this point. She just kind of hit her head. You might just get it there. No, it was just after that there. She hit her head in irritation at uh, making that unforced error. There's been a lot of those already in this short period of time. There's another one. It's littering her game at the moment. And going into the interval in double quick time, Pasala v. Sindhu in just five minutes is 11-4 up in game one. Yeah, just going back to that game at the India Open where Ashmita Chaliha beat Evgenia Kosetskaya and she was 2019 up at that point, Kosetskaya. There was a challenge Kosetskaya made, ma got it wrong and that was a turning point for Ashmita who was nervous in her first match since coming back from COVID. 
and she then won. Went on to win. That's a good point for Kosatskaya. The drive into the far corner. She's still six away, though. Drove her opponent to the back. And then easily finished off at the net there. Nicely done by PV Sindhu. Who's looking refreshed and recovered and in a much happier spacer with the scene compared to last week. Good winner there. Kill shot at the net. Nicely done by Kosaskai, who just goes to her knees. Doesn't look like she's in maybe the best of fitness or in health, perhaps. It's looked a little sluggish, I have to say, at the moment, Kosaskai. It's just taking her time a little bit. Let's see if that has an effect. There you go. She's just slowing it down as much as possible well that was I don't know how else to describe it apart from a bit of a, a lackadaisical shot she is a tired shot and it was an easy one to put away then for PV Sindhu Well, if I'm noticing it, I'm sure Sindhu is as well. And she will just keep her opponent moving. Make it difficult for her. Because she's not even getting close to that, is she? That drop. There are having a number of players who've dropped out of the tournament unwell. And I wonder whether there's been a bit of a bug that struck her. I know certainly some of us have been feeling a bit under the weather as well. 14-7 at the moment. It's a big lead, isn't it, for the home favourite. At the moment, her greatest ally, or aid, I suppose, Mokosetskaya, is the unforced errors. A couple of them that have been made by Sindhu. Oh, try to play the slice again. It was out. A couple of interesting uh, good points here, I should say, for Kosit Sky. A bit better for her. Now the lead's down to five. It was a close contest in that third game between Sindhu and Supanira. Indian player, Indian edging ahead. The tie then came back to climb back level. And it was 17 all at one point. And then Sindhu made that final dash. Taking the next four points. Was in the uh, press last year. Uh, sorry, last week. Sindhu. Four more and four errors there from Kosetskaya. She was included in the Forbes list of highest paid female athletes of 2021. And that is out. Uh, she said that was an indicator. Uh, badminton is a rewarding career for young players. So she's encouraging others to do the same like what she did. And she previously made the list in 2018. And is the only badminton player amongst the top earning sports women of the world. And she said it's uh, definitely a good sign for her. It gives her a lot of confidence. She 
She's not able to cope with the power there of the smash Korsetskaya. She said that, that uh, such recognition Forbes could be financially rewarding. Badminton that is in. It's all going very well for PV Sindhu. And she said not just now, but after 2016, after Sana Neval and her, a lot of kids have been looking up to them. Parents are happy as well to get involved in badminton. And now a whopping 10 game points for PV Sindhu. That's a little bit better from Kosetskaya. Her earnings, 7.2 million US dollars in 2021. To give you an idea of the difference there, <laughs> Naomi Saka, the top earner, Overall, $57 million. So $50 million more than PV Sindhu. Just to give you a little idea, lots of tennis players in their top five, ten their five tennis players, uh, Simone Biles, a gymnast, and a couple of golfers as well, and a basketball player, Candice Parker. And that's a lovely slice to win the first game in style. PV Sindhu is on fire. I have to say, it's very different at the moment for Kosetskaya, who's, who's struggling. And I think, I think she's going to stop. She's going to retire. If you just think she had a look, or was she asking for the doctor? She doesn't look like she's in good shape at the moment. Uh, we did see this earlier. PV Sindhu is ahead, 21-11 after 13 minutes. There's been a discussion with the umpire. I think we're just going to see whether she will continue. She doesn't look well, I, I have to say. We kind of saw that a few minutes earlier, and I think she's going to retire. Yes, that's it. And she's not in good shape. That's a real shame. She's going to withdraw, and that's a real pity for Evgenia Kosetskaya. But if you're not well, you're not well. You cannot continue. Um, that is a sad reality. You don't want to take chances, and uh, you have to do what's right for your body and yourself. So Evgenia Kosetskaya has withdrawn. It's a walkover, and Pusala v. Sindhu uh, will now cruise into the finals after this withdrawal from Evgenia Kosetskaya. And you could see that earlier on. PV Sindhu was very comfortable. Kosetskaya was not at her best. And they are just completing what formalities there are. And PV Sindhu and Evgenia Kosetskaya will now walk off together. A real shame, but uh, it is what it is. Many congratulations to PV Sindhu for going into the final of the Side Modi International 
So here we are then at the Side Modi International in Lucknow, India. The 2022 edition, much earlier than it usually is. Uh, here's the order of play on our court today. <coughs> Batnaga and Krasto beat Arjun and Jolly in the uh, mixed doubles. That took uh, just about an hour <coughs> in three games. It was a pretty epic encounter for the first two games. And uh, fairly straightforward in the third. And a very similar story in the men's singles with Arnaud Merclay of France defeating India's Mithun Manjunath. Um, and it was uh, a third game that was uh, rather straightforward for Arnaud Merclay. Unfortunately, we've had to see uh, in the women's singles, Evgenia Kositskaya of Russia who is playing India's PV Sindhu in the women's singles. Of course, PV Sindhu is the uh, top seed. And uh, Kositskaya, she was uh, disappointing, disappointing for her. She had to retire, withdrew from the rest of the match. She seemed to be unwell. And next up, is Ireland's Nat Nguyen up against Luca Clebout uh, from France. We could have an all-France final. And they will be in action next. Following that, we've got the women's doubles. Malaysia's low and Xiao versus Jolly, who we saw earlier with Pulela. And then uh, we've got more matches. Uh, a couple more, one more match after that. There we go. The BBD UP Badminton Academy is where we're at. Side Modi India International 2022. And uh, yeah, it's a nice little venue actually. It's. Very well set it up here. We've got a good setup outside as well, by the way. If testing and all that done very, very efficiently, I must say. And um, yeah, it's a good, it's a good old setup here. A story tournament, the Side Modi International, which uh, got its name. A little bit of a change. It turned into a BWF Grand Prix event in 2009. And the tournament has been held in Lucknow at the BBD Indoor Stadium with the Babu Baranasi Das Indoor Stadium. Here are some highlights from the previous match. PV Sindhu up against Evgenia Kositskaya. So, r remind you, this was uh, inaugurated by the UPBDA, the Uttar Pradesh Badminton Association, in 1991. It was known as the Side Modi Memorial Badminton Tournament in memory of the Commonwealth Games champion Side Modi. A rather sad and tragic story. You could always find out more about that, I'm sure, on the internet. And from its inauguration in 1991 till 19. Till uh, 2003, it was a national level tournament. And in 2004, it was organized as an international event for the first time, which saw some rather low key foreign participation at the beginning. And the tournament was halted from 2005 to 2008 for external issues, shall we say. And uh, it then started again in 2009 we've had a number of winners from india in fact they've dominated this tournament in the men's singles for certain and uh, that won't be the case this year we'll either have an all french final or an irish french final 
in the women's singles, we haven't had a winner from India since 2017, which is when PB Sindhu won it. And she's got a good shot of that. She'll be playing Malvika Bansod in the final. For men's doubles, interestingly enough, we have never had an India have never had an Indian winner. And when we look at the women's doubles, we also don't have an Indian winner, which is interesting, but we do have we do have a chance here for some Indian winners. There are Indian participants in the semi-finals. Uh, and the mixed doubles, we've only had two Indian pairs who have won it in 2009 and in 2017. So let's see if that can be done. And uh, reminder, if you've just joined us and wondering what's uh, going on at the moment, the update is PV Sindhu was playing Evgenia Kositskaya in the women's singles semi-final. Uh, and just after the first game, which was won very comfortably by Sindhu, Um, because Kosatskaya had to withdraw, unfortunately. Very unfortunate there. She was uh, struggling. It, it, it appeared to be some sort of illness or unwell. And PV Sindhu won that match after winning, taking the first game 21-11. Reminder, next up is Nat Nguyen of Ireland up against Luca Klebot. He is uh, from France. Then we've got Lo Yin Yen of Malaysia along with Valerie Xiao. They take on Theresa Jolly, the seventh seed, uh, along with Gayatri Gopichand Pulela in the women's doubles. And the final match of the day, 